which makes more sense in the water. You can have uh, this low gravity effect in the water, so you uh, you're falling uh, maybe at a lower speed. Maybe you can uh, go up higher. It's a bit too much. Okay, it feels a bit better now. That's something you have to to be careful when you have some passage in a uh, in swimming uh, environment where you have spike on the top. You have to have enough uh, room to go as as low as possible and just jump a little bit to advance without hurting your spike. Anyway, uh, so here you can play with this. The swim down is something I had, I added at some point. It's to it's pushed the you can't see it uh, that much here but um, oh, that's weird can swim down uh, down acceleration multiplier ok uh, it's basically you you can jump you are, you are in, uh, in a swimming uh, environment but then you can hit the down button and accelerate as if you wanted to, to swim down voluntarily voluntarily so maybe 600 beam you go really faster down ok so and there I wanted to show you another small trick with uh, jumping I will do a new project let me I think I don't need to save this one a new project I will make a lightning fast platformer as I did not long ago yep. top left uh, that's the ground start to get used to it Sprite uh, 32 by 64 habits and uh, the origin to button button okay I put the platform behavior here platform and the solid behavior here little bit of snapping just resizing the layout don't need that extra room and a platform behavior already there here you have basic platform movement now what you can do is uh, something that I like to do is a more progressive uh, jump uh, release jump rather um, what you want to do is when you re release the jump button you want your player to start going now so it can look like that you need the, the keyboard when the up arrow mm, case down up is not down you want the and if the player uh, is going up is jumping you want the player vertical speed to go to, to zero so you have woo, big jump I release a small jump so you have something you can uh, really uh, control finely when you are uh, trying to jump on uh, on enemies or stuff like that uh, but personally I don't like the arch transition between uh, I'm jumping and I'm falling as uh, the moment I release the the key, 
I'm falling. And I don't like that too much. So, what I tend to do is not setting the vector y to 0, but the velocity to 0. But if I'm lower, well, if my speed, my vertical speed is bigger, if I'm traveling vertically too fast, I will just set it to a lower speed. Let me show you. Going too fast uh, in a jump is going is moving at. Uh, I have to check it here. Player dot platform dot speed. Ah uh, no. Dot vertical speed, which is the vector y. Going too fast is going. It's uh, not intuitive, but it's going lower than minus something, maybe minus 100. Why? Because uh, the jumping is in the negative direction, so going fast up is going lower than a negative value. For instance, minus 200 pixel by second goes way faster up than minus 100. So if you are lower than minus 100, you are going fast up. You are really in. You are not in the end of your jump. You are rather in the beginning of your jump. And if it's the case, I set it to 100. So I, I, it's kind of capping the the speed, the vertical speed. So I have still my behavior of uh, if I release, I jump lower. If I release sooner, I jump lower. But I still have a smooth transition between jumping, going up, and falling, going down. So that's what I like to do uh, to have a better feeling of your character. There's one last thing I just thought I wanted to tell you, and this is kind of important actually. This one was just an anecdotal. So I will save it in the Dropbox uh, public uh, class and game no, example. And uh, I will say, um, how can I call it? Uh, progressive jump. Uh, uh, yeah, progressive jump. Uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, I tend to obviously use a variable for this and do something like player the jump cap is equal set to self dot jump cap. That's uh, I prefer, and you know why. Close project. So go, going back to this one, there's one thing you have to keep in mind while uh, fiddling with these parameters. As much as uh, the there's a, a relationship between this three value, there's a re relationship between this three value. There's also a relationship between the size of your character and this value. Let me give you a, a, a just a, a simple illustration of this. When you see a snail going at maybe what would be one meters per day, <laughs> a snail is really, really, really slow. But if you were to see a snail going at five kilometers per hour, the speed of a slow work for a human, if you were to see a snail go at the speed of a slow work for a human, you will have the impression of a super snail, a snail going super fast. The same way, uh, when you are watching, um, I don't know, this character here, really tiny with the same parameters as this character pretty big 
they will go at the same speed but if you just watch them separately here they will look like when they are tiny they go super fast and when they are super big let's uh, make some room when they are super big it looks like they are going slower maybe I should even use a uh, harsher uh, difference let's go uh, in the extreme you see the tiny little uh, oh it's too tiny uh, let's try 8 by 8 here it really looks like something is going fast and it's also a, pr a matter of um, scale of the environment if you have a whole level like this you have the impression of, of going whoa too fast too fast ah I can't control you It's really have this feeling of going too fast now that the, the environment has changed. Whereas if I do something like here, unfortunately my uh, my um, this uh, game is uh, isn't scrolling, so I don't. Uh, yeah, it, it, it gives you the impression of the the character jumping too low. You, he, he, can't, he can't even jump uh, the its own height which a uh, human usually don't do but uh, in platformers it can be it can look really 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 slow and uh, unpowerful and also it moves really slowly so yeah in platform when you want to uh, tweak these parameters you have to take into account that the to take into account the scale of the environment and the character um, there's a uh, for those who played uh, Mario Bros 3 there's a level where the size of the environment is something like uh, four times bigger and you see this kind of uh, of change in uh, in control you have to to be careful to avoid the enemy to jump uh, it makes the, the game uh, change a bit just by changing the scale of the environment but sh changing the scale of the of the character is also something you have to consider so before going too far in your tweakings here when you make your game you better uh, settle your, uh, your scaling uh, factors the idea being the most important thing in scaling the ratio between your character and your environment I think but the ratio between how f how high you can jump and your own size is also I think important so I let you to your tweakings I think I'm done for today as far vid as video goes that's the faster video I, I've ever made but I had uh, prepared uh, Kpix. So yeah, uh, I will uh, save this Kpix and uh, put it in the downloadable section as well. So I hope uh, you like the all this video today. I hope we will have uh, some time to check them before the course on, uh, in three days. I don't know why. I feel like I'm on Thursday and, and it is uh, Wednesday. Well, well, well. I should sleep uh, with a better schedule. Anyway, uh, save, save, save. Save, save. Public uh, to place, example. No. Uh, platform behavior lab. Okay, I'm done. 
thank you for following all my videos until now see you on saturday and until then uh, good uh, constructing and uh, goodbye